here. Like, you're ready to go. You're ready to throw down. <laughs> oh, what you just heard. Civic Music Association is partnering with the Latino Heritage Festival, bringing in Cuban pianist Alfredo Rodriguez and his trio. Brian Cole, executive director of the Civic Music Association. Welcome to you both. What a way to light up our Friday. Thank you. That Thanks. is incredible. I've been listening to your music all morning. I told Thank you, you so this. Much. You brought the energy we all needed in the newsroom. Uh, <laughs> and now Des Moines gets to experience it. I'm very happy. It's the first time that I'm in this city, so I'm very grateful that Brian yeah. invited us here. We had a time. kind of a gloomy day for you, but you're <laughs> in the heat now. We're bringing the sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. At least to the, to the theater. To the show. Yeah, so uh, the partnership, how did the partnership come about? Oh, you know, all about partnerships with Civic Music, and yeah. as we talked last year on a number of occasions that Joe, uh, Joe and I got together with Latino Heritage uh, Festival, and we said, how can we work together and yeah. do some things? And I said, man, there's this cat I'd love to bring in. And uh, I played some music. He said, let's do this. Oh, so yeah, so it, like, so uh, we're, we're partnering. And um, the Latino Heritage Festival is this weekend. I can't wait for that. They're bringing incredible music yeah. and dancers and all kinds of amazing things. And I'm just so, so grateful to be partnering with, with Joe and the festival and to bring Alfredo and his group in. It's just a really exciting time. So to have you in Des Moines, Tell us what Cuban music is all about. You have very specific technique on the piano. <laughs> well, I mean, we are, we are a country of a lot of mixes. You know, yeah. we, we have a lot of influence from African music, mm -hmm. obviously European and Spanish. We were colonized by the Spanish, and we've been very close to a country like the States for so many years. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know a little bit of the political situation, but yeah. we'll be isolated mm -hmm. from the United States for more than 50 years because of the revolution in Cuba. But before that, we had a, you know, like a very links uh, between the two countries. And I grew up listening to music from the States. Uh, my, my dad always had like, you know, like LP, like from Frank Sinatra, from Nat King Cole, oh, yeah. from Lionel Hampton, even Quincy Jones, which has been like my mentor and my manager for okay. so many years. You can hear it in your skill in your playing it is incredibly just you move from beat to beat you are one of those musicians that is so passionate it's contagious we Thank feel you. it and we can't help but move and just feel <laughs> the what the love that you put into it and this is a lifestyle for you i mean as, as i as i always well that is good that you said that because as, as i always say i i play what i live mm. and and basically i since long time i haven't been playing uh, thinking about notes or anything like that i just really think about my life what i am living at the moment uh. is going to be translated into into the music into the stage so you know, I'm just very happy to, to be a human being, having the opportunity to travel the whole world and play my music and meeting many new people and culture and try to, you know, unify with the power of music. Absolutely. So tonight, where can people go? Where is it? What time is it? Tonight, 7.30, Temple Theater. Uh, if you, There's a couple tickets remaining. If you want tickets, go to civicmusic.org, and you're not going to want to miss this. It's going to oh, be incredible. I can't wait. I'm going to be there. I'm so excited for this. Also, I'm excited to see you, the rest of your band. They are incredible. Yeah. Uh, we have two great musicians. The bass player and guitarist is from Brazil, from Bahia, Brazil. Oh, okay. And the drummer is, um, he, his parents are from Cuba, but he was born here in the States in Miami. Both of them are extraordinary in what they do. And we cannot really wait to see all of you guys there and have a good night. It's going to be an amazing show. It's also a great opportunity to learn about, you know, uh, Cuba and the political mm -hmm. background, but also how music is a unifier, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, well, as, as I mentioned before, I mean, I've been very honored and humbled to work with Quincy Jones for more than 15 years. He has been my mentor and the, pro the producer of all my albums. And he has been someone also just encouraged me and many great musicians in the whole world just to do that. Obviously, he was the, you know, the producer of and, and the arranger of We Are The World. And, you know, like many, many, many things in the whole world that Quincy has. Well, Quincy is a legend. Uh, so, yeah. so again, you know, just, I, I'm just trying to keep the legacy alive and just try to go in that path of unity and, you know, like just basically breaking the borders that yeah. we put between each other in so many countries in, 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 in the world through music. Beautifully yeah. said. Thank I you so much for being here. Thank oh, Des Moines so is lucky to have you. What Thank a great so time tonight.